um, back to today though, um, what we worked on last time was we were starting with the automation of all the stuff and we were thinking about using these better furnaces, well, after taking a look I'm not sure I like the better furnaces but dang they are so fast and I was thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking I'm like you know what skip the better furnaces you know we're done with the better furnaces we are better than better furnaces we are technological right last season in the big death star I focused on the use of well I'm just now loading in we focused on the use of um <laughs> it's too funny what if they all followed me back here we'll give it a minute uh, using Ender IO for our processing so what I'd actually like to do this season is thermal expansion which is why I went over there and grabbed a bunch of ender pearls because it uses a lot of stuff called resonant ender and I think we'll probably need some glowstone as well that's probably good maybe uh, a couple blaze rods and I'd already started you know automation with sag mills and whatevs you know they're good stuffs ender IO is a great mod it's awesome But uh, it's like the last time I've used thermal expansion, I believe, was um, uh, green skies. So we'll we're just gonna do some crafting recipes right now. Let's see, get some patterns. Really, no patterns? Make me a hundred. We'll still those. All right, so I already had it typed in there. So there's the basic machines, but the basic machines actually come in three different, uh, different levels, if you will. So the, your basic machine, uh, it's going to be just the re the the basic, okay, smelts items. Then you have the next tier up, which is going to be your hardened tier. After that, which is reinforced. Two after that is resonant. And that's the one I'm after. So I'm actually gonna have to get a resonant frame so I can have all these craft directly to the resonant one. Uh, let's see here. Resonant, resonant, resonant frame, which actually requires each level. So we'll we'll start with the frames first, I guess. So cancel out the machines. Let's look for frame. So the basic frame, bing, there we go. We'll need 10 gears, okay. Uh, hardened framed, bing, there we go. We'll need electrum gears, okay. Which means we'll have to do a recipe for electrum as well. Which uh, we'll probably do an um, alloy smelter for the time being. Uh, what's the next one? Reinforced? Hardened reinforced, yep. Uh, there we go. And the hardened one takes hardened glass. I'm not sure if we have a hardened glass recipe yet. We do not, so that's another thing we'll have to make a recipe for. And that's done in, uh, as you can see, a smelter or induction smelter. Okay, now we also need Signalum gear, and that's going to actually require a Signalum automation as well. So a lot of different parts go into these more advanced machines. And Endarium. Okay, so it's pretty much the basic of the crafting that we'll need for them. And let's throw it up here. That's the resonant one, isn't it? Throw it up there. Basics 10. 
that. Like that, and like that, okay. So, what are these gears? So, first we'll have Electrum. Which is going to be. I don't know if we have any. Let's see here. Uh, nope. Basically, it's going to be gold and silver, I believe. One silver, one gold. So we'll say gold, bing. Silver, bing. And take that with us. And we'll just throw that down here into one of these alloy smelters. Always only, by the way. Thought all these have been set up for alloy only. That's better. Really, we didn't configure these at all? Push pull, hello. Push to there. Okay, and so that should allow us to finish this recipe. Electrum. And we'll get some of those patterns that we were making. Okay. So now we can do Electrum ingots. And we'll just stick it in right there. And what's the next one up? So, also Invar. I think Invar is just standard. Inver. Invar. No, it's not. Okay, Invar is another one we'll have to do then. What is it? Yes, Invar blend or iron and nickel. There we are. Yep. Two iron, one nickel makes three. So I think instead of nickel, nickel back, we have it's called ferrous. Let's check the recipe for that one more time. Yep, one ferrous, two iron. Okay, set this up as a pattern. And you're done. And it actually auto output at that time too. Good. So that's going to give us the Invar times three. So there's that recipe. What's next? Signalum, maybe? So we've got all that. That's just glass and iron and tin. We've got all this. Now we need this. Okay, so hardened glass. We'll start with that. Not the hardened lumium glass though, just the standard one. So, the induction smelter, which we don't have yet, or we can do it in here. So we're going to need obsidian dust and lead ingots. So, lead. And... Obsidian dust. I don't actually have a recipe for this either, so I'll have to do this. High five! Thanks for the uh Thanks for the host Lapis and hello West Vets and all you other awesome viewers. Thanks for tuning in. How's everyone doing today? And Invar, we'll just put you in here. Oh, did we get the... No, we didn't. So we're working on the uh, recipe for hardened glass. Oh, fused quartz works? Hmm. I think I'm going to have better luck with the obsidian recipe, though. How much obsidian do we have? 4,000? Yeah, either way, it doesn't look that good. Let's see a recipe for this. 
It's one to one, huh? Uh, oh, one to four in sag mill. Wait, what? Yeah, that's better. Okay. But we're working on that, so let's get uh, get a lead here. I would imagine it would be hard to make chalice. If it was vanilla. Oh, is this our only smelter? Yes, it is. Good. Okay. Did I put those recipes in the right place? Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah, I think I did. Alright, so it gives us uh, hardened glass, I believe. Nope, not gardened. Not gardening glass, but hardened glass. So now we got a recipe for that. I'm gonna do... Uh, one of these makes four of these. Okay. What else do we need for the Signalum one? Oh yeah, Signalum. What does that take? Wow. Uh, Signalum blend in the smelter. Or an LA smelter with I wish you could do this in the uh, other one, but you can't, so. Whoa, tin redstone? Three copper? And a silver? What is. Oh, buckets! <laughs> oh. Alright, so. Definitely like the alloy smelter recipe here for this one. Uh, tin redstone, silver, and three copper. Clear that out. Let's get some redstone. So, tin redstone, silver, and three copper. Took it, and it's making it. Alright, let's put these recipes in some of the, uh, the smelters. Smelters, smelter, smelter. It's actually the first one, isn't it? Alloy smelter. Yep. And these are. Okay, that's a Sagmill one. So this guy can go with, like, that one, I guess. And then a sag mill, whichever. I'm not picky. And then signalum four. Sweet. Is that just a recipe, or is that a that was an alloy too, wasn't it? Okay, and what's next? Resonant machine frame is going to take silver ingots. Good stuff, we got plenty of that. And then Endarium. So Endarium is going to be Endarium base, Pyrothium, and then Ender Pearls, or Pyrothium and Endarium blend. Yeah, we're going to go with this one. So, Pyrothium. Come down here to do this. Pyrothium. Okay, do we have a blaze powder, sulfur, pulverized coal? Pretty sure we have a pulverized coal recipe in here. Good, good, good. Uh, blaze powder. We got a recipe for that too, as well. Very nice. So that's just gonna go 
and around our other stuff. Yeah, I've started going into the technology stuff now. Most of it's, uh, still trying to get things sorted out with the Batania, but, uh, definitely been doing, okay, so shiny, silver, and tin. That's what we're going to use for this. Uh, like today I went back and replaced all my frames, my item frames with my Batania, and I'm hoping that everything works out with them, and I can start working on Batani again. Uh, one silver, two tin. Oops. And tin. And get our shiny and get again. Okay. Now this should make two Indarium base. Or four. There we go. Pattern made. Then we're going to take two of those. Uh, Ender pearls times two. And pyrothium times one. I do believe. Two, two, one. Yep. And we'll modify these once we do get like into the induction smelter stage. All right, but now we should be able to do a resonant frame. Oh, hold on. Did I? I didn't finish that one. Good. And there, yum. And there, yum. And it's gonna go in the alloy smelters. Probably split those up too. So I put them all over here. Or here. Here we are. So, I did like that in one, these in the others, that's probably good. Can we make a resonant frame? <gasps> yes, nice. We can check the progress of it too. Currently making glass. Guessing down there. Just finished. Okay. Now it's working on the Indarium. Oh, we actually had that, didn't we? Or we'll just put that stuff away. Stored, scheduled, scheduled, scheduled. A lot of stuff scheduled. I'm curious as to what it's actually doing right now. Or maybe it finished and I just didn't realize. Are you both set to alloy mode, I believe? Yep. Did you... what's... Oh, man. Confused. And lost once more.
scheduled to make the Endarium base. Oh, jeez, did we... Did we put that in the wrong place? I think we may have... No? Did we put it up here, maybe? Surely not. I think I lost an Endarium. Oh. Where did... Oh my goodness. We, we probably put it in like the crafting slot, didn't we? Like, yeah, we'll just put this here. And pretend it knows what it's actually doing. Alright, now it's actually crafting them. That shouldn't take too long. But it'll go a lot quicker, I think, once we get resonant machines with crazy upgrades on them. Uh, speaking of, so the upgrades for these things will make them go quicker. Which ones are they? These right here? The space time flux things? Yes, more energy and eight times the speed. So we'll start with this one. Oh. Bronzing it, huh? Redstone reception coil. I don't know if we've even done redstone reception coil. We'll do that just in case. Uh, what we're we looking at this one. Uh, we did the first version, which was this one here. So bronze. Is there just a crafting pattern? Please tell me there's just a. Oh, it's got to be alloy smelted. Ah, <sighs> jeez. Let's go copper. Check out the uses on it. It's the only shapeless crafting we got. Usually there's some random mod that'll add in a recipe to make to make bronze without actually using a smelter to make bronze. But I don't think we're gonna get around that this time. So was it thermal foundation? Clear this out. So I got that in a recipe. Lumium. We'll go ahead and do a lumium recipe as well. Three tin, one silver four or maybe we'll hold off on that. Bronze. Uh three copper, one tin, right? Yep. Let's see if we actually have any. No bronze. This is what it's called, right? Bronze? Yep, bronze. Invar Electrum Mana Infused Ingot. What? What's the recipe for that? Oh, there is none. Just Mana Infused Ore. I think? Yeah. Yeah. We're just fine. I don't think that's actually used for anything, is it? That I'm aware of. It's not actually used for anything. Okay. And the rest are just standard. Okay. Okie dokie. So thermal. Maybe we should just do them all. Boop. There we go. That's that one. That's this one. Don't know if we had a servo pattern in there. We do now. Whatever that does. Redstone control. I don't think we actually need any of these, but whatever. What's that? Transmission coil ducting? 
No clue. No clue about that one either. Augment ex something with the dynamos. Ooh, that's gonna require cryothium. Which requires bliss powder, which we don't have. Uh we'll just hope we don't need that one anytime coming up. Transmission coil. And another one that requires the cryothium. Lots of wool. What? Oh, secondary sieve. Sure, why not? Got that one. Need this one here. And this one here. Nullification chamber. Destroys excess secondary outputs. Wow, that's kind of neat. Uh, that's... That's interesting. What is that for? Increases food output. Redstone furnace specials? Oh, for like cooking food. Cool, cool. And this is like your cobblestone generator. Output increaser. Okay. So we're going to add these to our recipes, like through here probably. Except for the bronze one, that's going to go into a smelter. Not make that mistake again. Like, what do you, what do you mean these go together? I don't. I don't understand. That's basically what the uh, AE system was doing when I tried to tried to craft it. Probably does not compute. Does not compute. All right, and the alloy smelter. I'll just throw that up here. Yeah, we'll put all these in the same one. Why not? So your lowest one's gonna be this bronze first, I believe, and then Invar maybe, and then Electrum, and then Signalum, and then the base, and then the Enderium. Okay. Alright. Um close to an illuminator. Yes. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and turn that off. That extra information is not needed. Alright, so now we should have a resonant... Why you no craft? Seriously. Sitting right there. Uh, well, hold on. Alloy mode only, right? We got the base. We need inner pearls and pyrothium dust. Tell you what, we'll go here. Stick that in there. See what it's see it's actually trying to do the Enderium right now. Did that? Maybe go to the wrong one? I think it did. Huh. Didn't expect it to split it up like that. Oh well. That's another unforeseen consequence. But you're done, right? Yes. So that's what I was after. Now we can go in and be like, all right, we want this machine resonant. And see, there we go. Uh, we want this machine resonant. Sawmill, sure, why not? And 
induction smelter. So the resonant basically means that it's going to get these extra um, extra speed increase. It's going to have more power, more space for power, more energy storage. It's going to natively be a little bit quicker. Uh, it's going to be an all-around better machine. Aqueous accumulator. Is there a resonant version of that? I guess maybe. Huh. Seems kind of wasteful. Cyclic assembler. Sure, why not? Energetic infuser. I don't think we're ever going to need this one, but let's we'll go ahead and do it anyway. Hello, Draco Dude 20. 1221. Alright, I'll just throw these in here. Lots of recipes. Lots and lots of recipes. So many recipes. So little time. Now, just by chance, can we actually make our induction guy? Missing buckets. And Invar gear. Alright, so let's do Invar gear and bucket recipe, okay? We'll give you that pretty simple. Works for this guy here. Just throw them in here. Actually, we want some redstone furnaces. Which requires copper gears and bricks. Do we have clay? Yeah, I think we even have a recipe to make clay, don't we? Uh, no, we don't. Is there any way we can make clay? Wait, what? Jaw crusher with... Huh? That can't be right. That's gotta be like a secondary output or something. Because, like... That looks like the same thing. And you're just always gonna get clay from it? We do like that, maybe. It's not too bad. Got a good amount of gravel, a little bit of dirt. Make some clay. Slag, yeep. Clay container, noop. <sighs> Whatever jaw crusher is, maybe we'll take a look at that eventually but um, let's get a pattern here for clay one clay makes one brick in the furnace the three of them just for meal just for right now So it's going to be one to one. And then we'll clear that out. Go to uh, pattern form. Do that. Stick it here for that. And then add this to our recipes. Oh, there's a slot. 
Alright, now can we do redstone furnace? Oh, copper gear. That'll take its time as it has to process the Enderium as well. Which is actually going pretty quick. Not too shabby. And once that's finished, we want to augment it with. Three of the uh, these right here. Space time flux unifier. The processing speed upgrades. Don't need fuel efficiency or anything, I don't think. It's for dynamos. I think that's all we need really. Yeah, just the just the speed upgrades. You don't really get any secondary output from redstone furnaces or anything crazy like that, so. And these are pretty basic. So I don't think we'll have to add any other recipes. Still working on the Enderium and the bricks as well. Bricks are taking a while. Oh, that's why I'm doing the redstone furnaces right now, so that these, so I can uh, basically replace them with faster furnaces. Well, Draco, dude, that's pretty hardcore, man. Putting your uh, tablet in the fridge to keep it cool. Keep it cool. <laughs> what? Flux igniter? Chills things at a distance? What? Pumps fluids into and out of compatible containers. Holds uh, some charge. I wonder how much fluid it contains, though. Transfuses RF into and out of compatible devices. Hmm. Neat. It's a recipe for a creative flux capacitor, I wonder. Let's get all those. Except for the conductance, I think. Just about done here. Scheduled just one more to go. Hi, JC747. How are you doing today? Welcome to the stream. Done. Okay, so... I'll grab six of those. And then... What do we look for a machine? Nope. Uh, what if we look for... Upgrade. Nope. Oh, wow. We have to look for these by their name? I'm not going to remember. Oh, we just look for augment. Sweet. Uh, so we'll do six of these. <laughs> and done. 
And six of the yellow ones. And done. And six of the high-speed ones. To use the highest tier, you have to have the uh, lower tiers as well. That's why I'm doing it that way. Alright, so basically we're going to use these to replace those guys. Oh, let's put on our magnet. And these guys. Oh, we had bricks in there? Hmm, okay. And I think they can take power in the front of them. I'm not too sure about that. Yep, looks like they can. Good, good. Okay. And we'll clear this out. Uh. Hmm. Yes. So these, this is what I was afraid of. Basically, it only allows input or output. So I have to figure something out for that. You can't push and pull on the same side. Though, I wonder if that completely blocks it from doing input. Let's see. This is the... We'll request some glass here. Empty this one out as well and do that. That's on the top right, and that's on the bottom. Okay. Go ahead and get them upgraded though. Augmentation. One of those. One of those. One of those. Redstone control should be completely ignored. In fact, we could just take out a couple of those anyway. Let's see what it does when we ask for glass. Yep, so first we gotta make that into sand. And then as you can see, the glass is actually not in pudding, so. Hi. I guess that's going to be a problem for another day. Yep. Anyway, thank you all for tuning in tonight. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. We've gotten a lot of stuff accomplished here and there and all over the place. Got uh, a set of sticks set up over here to basically keep it from turning night or ever raining. And the uh, Steve Factory Manager to keep it recharged. We went to our Britannia area. We got the item frames... Uh, replaced and we will keep an eye on them to see if they uh, stay that way. We chunk loaded it as well to keep it active always. And then we came back here and worked on some uh, automation, uh, in particular replacing the uh, furnaces with the redstone furnaces. Yeah. Well, we can't input out, or can we? Let me just try one thing really quick. I'm just curious if we can output from the... Oops. In and out. We'll say... Wait, what? Nope. Nope! Dang it. Please tell me when I place that back that it doesn't remember that I had that disabled. Yeah, good. So yeah, can't whoop output from that. 
Anyway, thank you all for tuning in, and uh, catch me again on the Tuesdays. Bye for now.